In this video, I'll share incredible 100 best frugal living tips with a big impact. Number one, use bill cutters. Bill cutters is a service that goes over your bills and negotiates with the companies you pay to lower your bills. The only catch is that they take 50% of the savings they get for you, but any decrease in your bills is worth it. Number two, do surveys for extra money. Websites like Swagbucks allow you to do surveys for rewards like gift cards or cash through PayPal. They also offer several other ways to earn rewards like cashback and playing video games. Number three, invest change with Acorns. Acorn makes investing easy by taking spare change from your purchases and placing them into a tailored portfolio made for your needs. It's easy and requires no work from you except signing up. Number four, use Groupon for fun deals. Groupon is like the ultimate coupon app because it doesn't just find coupons for things like food, but also for travel, salons, fitness, and home services. Number five, refinance your student loans to save interest. Refinancing your student loans depends on a lot of factors, but if you know you're going to be paying it off quickly, it may be a good option for you. Number six, slow cook or pressure cook. Using a slow cooker or pressure cooker are great ways to make delicious meals without taking up a lot of time for prepping and cleaning. If you're busy and want to save on food, then this is the way to go. Number seven, use the grill instead of the stove. Yes, believe it or not, a grill actually costs less to use than a stove in the long run. Especially if your stove is electric, grill it if you can. Number eight, get cheaper cuts of meat. A ribeye steak is always nice, but it's very expensive. Going for the cheaper option isn't always bad as there are unique ways to tenderize meat, like using kiwi puree or onions. Another option is to buy chicken whole instead of the parts. Number nine, make breakfast for dinner. Breakfast meals are always cheaper than dinner meals, so making your dinner or breakfast meal once a week can help you save money. Number 10, have kids take lunch instead of buying lunch at school. Most schools have a cafeteria, and if it's paid, you can practice frugal living and save money by getting your kids to bring lunch instead. Number 11, make your own Lunchables. Lunchables are simply cheese, ham, and crackers. However, you usually pay for the packaging and the convenience. But if you make them yourself, you can still give your children the enjoyment of the snack while saving money. Number 12, use Fetch for cash back on groceries. Fetch is an app where you can scan receipts and get cash back rewards for it. That's easy enough to save some money, right? Number 13, reuse Ziploc bags. Reusing Ziploc bags is an old frugal tip but it's an effective one. Most of the time, a quick wash is more than enough to make the bag reusable again, which can save you a lot of money over time. Number 14, reusable coffee filters. A reusable coffee filter is a little less known, but it's an absolutely wonderful way to save some extra dollars. Number 15, switch to cheaper light bulbs. If you aren't on the LED light bulb train yet, then it's time to hop on. It takes no time to change your light bulbs and you'll be saving without even thinking about it. Number 16, insulate your attic. It's amazing how much heat you can lose without an insulated attic. Taking the time to do this can really help you save hundreds of dollars on heating and cooling bills. Number 17, insulate water heater. Think of treating your water heater like a giant thermos. You wanna keep the contents inside warm and having an insulated water heater means it'll have to run less, saving you the time and energy it takes to heat it up. Number 18, use air dry on the dishwasher. The convenience of a dishwasher is too good to pass up, and part of that is having dry dishes. However, the heating component of drying dishes can be quite expensive, so try using the air dry option and wash your dishes before you go to bed so they're dry in the morning. Number 19, hang clothes to dry. Some people can dry their clothes all year round, and some can only do it for a few warm months, but regardless, you'll always save money doing this and have the freshest smelling clothes. Number 20, wash clothes in cold water. Most washers offer a cold water wash option, which is a great way to save money on water heating. Number 21, wash clothes with a higher spin cycle so they dry faster in the dryer. This little trick utilizes a little physics by creating more heat with a higher spin cycle, making the clothes come out a little drier from the washer. Number 22, only full loads of laundry. If the washer is not completely full of clothes, then don't wash them. You'll not only spend less time washing clothes, but you'll save money by washing less. Number 23, wear items more than once before washing. We're used to washing our shirts and pants after one wear, but they usually can be worn several times before they need to be washed. This is especially the case with clothing like sweaters and pants. Number 24, use powdered laundry detergent. 
Powdered laundry lasts a lot longer than its liquid counterpart, meaning if you buy the same amount of each, the powdered one will last longer. It's also much cheaper. Number 25, use old shirts or sheets as rags. Before you throw away any old shirts or sheets, cut them up and use them as rags. They're just as effective as paper towels and they're reusable so you can save money. Number 26, cloth baby diapers. Speaking of cloth and reusability, consider switching to cloth baby diapers, which can be washed and reused, saving you money and space. Number 27, make your own baby food. Using an item like the baby bullet or even a blender to puree fruits and veggies, you can also store them in the freezer, so they'll last for many months. Number 28, turn down your water heater temp. Some of you may not know you can adjust your water heater temp and a simple turn of the dial downwards can help you lower how much your water will heat. Number 29, take shorter and cooler showers. Two ways to lower your water bill is to take timed showers and to lower the temp slightly. You don't have to take cold showers, but go a little less than you usually do. Number 30, use a low flow shower head. A low flow shower head can reduce your water consumption by up to 40% which can save you a lot if you pair it up with shorter showers. Do you want to learn more tips that can save you 40% on your expenses? Subscribe to Investors Weekly, where we share a huge amount of frugal living tips you can practice today. Number 31, get a Roku. A Roku is an excellent and inexpensive little device that can keep all your favorite subscriptions in one box, and it also provides several free channels. Down in the description, we put the link to find it on Amazon. Number 32, Get a cheap cell phone provider. One of the most popular cheap cell phone providers right now is Mint Mobile, with plans as low as $15 a month. Number 33, consignment sales. Online stores like ThreadUp sell clothing from brand stores at a discounted price, allowing you to get quality items for a great price. Number 34, borrow items from friends. I have a neighbor who borrows another neighbor's lawnmower to do his lawn. If you don't need to have the item yourself, then consider borrowing it. Number 35, use Wi-Fi instead of the internet. If you're not a heavy internet user or can use the internet mostly at your job, then think about only using the data you have on your phone as your internet. Number 36, water down juice. Juice from the store is often extremely concentrated, so watering it down by adding something as small as 25% can help the bottle last one week longer and save you money. Number 37, Target Red Debit Card. This debit card allows you to save 5% on purchases from Target stores and free two-day shipping. If you love Target, then you need this card. Number 38, Amazon Subscribe and Save. I order a lot of items on Amazon that are reoccurring, but the Subscribe and Save option allows me to not only save up to 5% from my purchases, but also helps me to not forget to buy the items when I need them. Number 39, Unsubscribe from Store Emails. Getting emails from a store you shop at with new deals every day can be tempting. If you find them hard to resist, then unsubscribe from them to avoid spending money you don't need to spend. Number 40, use YouTube to learn to fix things. YouTube is entirely free and you can basically learn how to do anything on there. If you need to fix something, it should be the first place you go. Number 41, save gift bags. This Christmas, I got some nice gift bags from my family, and instead of throwing the gift bags away, I'm keeping them to reuse them for next Christmas. Number 42, use public transit more. If you're in a location that offers good public transit, it can save you a lot of money on gas. Just using it once a week will already make a substantial difference. Number 43, travel during off-peak seasons. Traveling during the off-season is essentially traveling when people aren't traveling as much. Typically, that's November through February in the Northern Hemisphere and June through August in the Southern Hemisphere. Maybe you can enjoy Paris in the winter. Number 44, use a gas tracker app. A gas tracker app like GasBuddy can help you find the cheapest places for gas in your area. They also offer a rewards card that save you 25 cents per liter. Number 45, price match everything. Most large chain stores will offer price matching. So whether you're shopping online or in store, have the flyers from other stores handy so you can get the best deals from the stores you're already shopping at. Number 46, cancel unused memberships. Many people know what it's like to look at their credit card statement only to find they've been paying for a subscription they totally forgot about. Bonus tip, to totally avoid paying for unused memberships, don't set automatic renewal. 
This way, when a new month starts, you'll have to manually restart your memberships and any memberships you forgot won't be paid for unknowingly. Number 47, make going out to eat special. Instead of eating out every other day or even once a week, make going out to eat an actual treat by going out for special occasions. This will not only save you money, but make going out much more enjoyable. Number 48, use kids eat free nights. If eating out is more convenient for your current lifestyle, then aim to eat during times when kids eat free to reduce your bill. Number 49, BOGO deals. Buy one, get one free is a wonderful deal when it comes to food. If you and your family are going to eat out, then take advantage of these deals from places like A&W, McDonald's, Harvey's, and Subway. Number 50, get an appetizer as your meal. With the portions that restaurants serve, you can easily get away with ordering an appetizer for your main dish. If you think you'll still be hungry, then consider eating a snack before you go to the restaurant to save a bit of money. Number 51, be happy with happy hour. Happy hours offered at restaurants can sometimes have deals on food up to 50% off. If you know the happy hour times at restaurants near you, that's the best time to get your meals. Number 52, use birthday freebies. Places like Red Lobster, Dairy Queen, and Applebee's offer birthday freebies that can give you a wonderful memory and a discounted or even a free meal. Number 53, get rid of car payments. Paying loans on a new car is expensive. If you're looking to cut costs, you need to honestly review how much you're spending on your loan and if it's worth it. Most of the time, you can sell it back, though depreciated, and buy a used car that will work just as well. Number 54, get rid of extra vehicles. This isn't an option for everyone, but if you can get away with only having a single car for your family, you effectively reduce your car expenses varying between 50 to 100%. That's less gas, fewer maintenance costs, and less insurance. Number 55, car wash at home. An at-home car wash is actually quite easy to do and can be a fun weekend project with your family. Take it a step further and use collected rainwater to wash your car. Number 56, carpool. There are two ways to effectively use a carpool. Firstly, you can be the carpool driver and ask for a payment from each passenger for gas. Or you can be a passenger and pay a small amount for gas but pay less than you would if you were driving your own car. Number 57, find car maintenance coupons. A quick Google search for car maintenance coupons can help you find any deals that are currently in your area, or you can use a coupon finder app like Groupon. Number 58, combination errands. Simply put, if you need to go to multiple stores, do them all in one shot when you're out to save on gas and time. Number 59, Redbox for free movies. One of the big benefits of Redbox is a free on-demand option that allows you to watch movies they offer for free. Not to mention, they aren't subscription-based, so you don't have to pay a monthly fee. Number 60, get a good phone case. Everyone has either experienced or knows someone who's experienced their phone screen cracking. There are plenty of great phone cases that can prevent this, like the OtterBox phone case. The longer your phone lasts, the longer you can use it, and the less you'll have to pay in the long run. Number 61, buy used or refurbished phones. In case you do have to buy a new phone, then consider OpenBox used or refurbished phones. These will always be much cheaper and are often in excellent condition to be used for many years. Most phone service providers offer a selection of these types of phones. Number 62, sell old phones. If you have any old phones laying around that are still working, then consider selling them for extra cash. It may not be a lot, but it's better than your phone doing nothing in your home. Number 63, optimize your phone bill. Going over your phone bill once in a while can help you make sure you're not paying for more than you need. For example, how much data do you use every month? If you have a 20 gig plan, but only use two gigs, then you can get a much cheaper plan to suit your needs. Number 64, buy older phones. Most phone companies make new phones that are older models, which are always significantly cheaper than the newest model. This really depends on the person, but there are cases when phone plans allow you to get a better deal if you purchase a phone so you can buy an older model so you don't break the budget. Number 65, use budget theaters. Budget theaters are local theaters that often show movies for a cheaper price than mainline theaters. You can always find fun movies, some of which are older and not as popular, and it can be a great night out. Number 66, go outside. You don't always have to spend money when you go out. Sometimes just going for a walk in the park can entertain you and make you feel happy without spending a single cent. Number 67, get healthier. 
another option to cut back on spending is to exercise. Another huge benefit of getting healthier is that you can curb potential medical bills, which everyone knows are insanely expensive. Number 68, drive well. Some insurance companies like Allstate or Geico offer a discount price if you continually drive well. For example, if you drive at the speed limit, you can have your monthly bill reduced by a certain percentage. Number 69, get a roommate. This option is viable whether you rent or own a place. If you don't mind living with someone else and want to cut the cost of living expenses, then a roommate is a good way to go. Number 70, find a cheaper place to live. Sometimes the place you have is just too much for your current budget. There's nothing wrong with downsizing to suit your needs as a temporary option. It's also great if you're looking to live a bit more cheaply to save more money. Number 71, start Airbnb. If you have a lot of spare rooms in your home, then consider signing up for Airbnb to rent. It's a good passive income that can reduce the cost of your mortgage. Number 72, use high efficiency appliances. Not all appliances are high efficiency. Some can use quite a bit of energy. If you wanna find out what appliances are high efficiency, look for the energy star symbol. It's a great way to save money in the long run. Number 73, get a rain barrel. Water isn't free, but if you collect it from rain, it is. You can use this water to water your gardens and clean your car. And if you have a filtration system, you can even drink it. Number 74, give and ask for practical gifts. Gifts don't always have to be sentimental. They can also be things that are useful and can help make your life easier and cheaper. In fact, we once thought that socks and underwear were the worst Christmas gift, but now I can't help but be happy if I receive them. Number 75, use newspapers to wrap presents. Newspapers, aluminum foil, or even colored paper are viable wrapping paper options. There was a Christmas when I used aluminum foil to wrap gifts, which suited us because we ran a catering business. While it made everyone laugh, it saved us money by not having to buy gift wrap. Handmade but sentimental cards. A card can be enough depending on the occasion, but it can also be pricey if you buy them at specific stores. If you really want to impress someone, then make a card yourself that's unique to the event. Another option is to shop at a dollar store for cheap but nice cards. Number 77, add a zero. This frugal tip is to help you see if a purchase is worth it. For example, if you wanna buy a new shirt for $30, add a zero to the end and ask if you'd still buy it at that price. Chances are you won't, but the reason behind this is to show you how much you could earn if you invested that money instead. Number 78, be a mystery shopper. This interesting side hustle is multi-beneficial. Firstly, you get paid to shop and survey your experience at specific stores. And secondly, you can either get free meals by shopping at restaurants, free clothes for shopping at clothing stores, and a whole host of other things. Number 79, double a meal and save half. If you're already cooking enough servings for one meal, why not double it and freeze the rest for another dinner to avoid eating out? Number 80, make your own salad dressing. Did you know that many salad dressings only consist of oil, vinegar, and salt? You could pay $5 for a jar at the store, or you could pay a few cents to make your own at home. Number 81, fix your shoes. With some Gorilla Glue, you can easily fix any shoe that are separated from their sole. I effectively used that technique when a pair of running shoes I had started separating from the soles. It won't totally fix your shoe, but you can easily make them last another season. Number 82, fix socks with holes in them. It's not difficult to sew, and socks are typically the first item of clothing to get some sort of a hole. While socks aren't overly expensive, you can be proud of learning a skill that goes a long way. Number 83, clean out your drains regularly. It's not expensive to clean out your drains every three months from hair and any other clogs, but it's very expensive to hire a plumber to do the same job. If you don't know how to clean drains, then once you finish this video, do a quick YouTube search. Number 84, dye faded or stained clothing. A great option to making clothes you love look brand new is to dye them yourself. Sometimes irreparable stains happen or clothes fade and dyeing them can prevent you from having to buy a new pair. Number 85, save leftover coffee for iced coffee. I'm a big fan of saving coffee from the day before to use as iced coffee. Coffee isn't cheap and it always tastes great the day after. Number 86, use dish soap to clean. One of the best and most versatile dish soaps is Dawn, which I like to use for a majority of my cleaning. I also use it diluted for hand soap. 
Number 87, use boxes from shoes or cereal as storage. These boxes are great for the storage of all sorts of things and don't cost you an extra penny. It's making the most of what you already have. Number 88, propagate your plants instead of buying new. Did you know that most of the house plants you buy in the store are propagated? In case you didn't know, this means that they were grown from another plant. Many plants can regrow from cutting a stem. One plant that responds well to this is basil. Number 89, plan a staycation. It's good to get away to reset your system and clear your mind, but you don't always have to spend money on traveling to do that. Instead, you can plan a staycation where you travel to places within your area that you've never seen, like a museum or art gallery. Number 90, take your own school pictures. School pictures are very pricey for what they offer, and in this generation, everyone has a close to professional camera in their smartphones. So consider taking unique pictures like that instead of paying for expensive photos. Number 91, grow plants from seed. Buying seedlings versus plants from seed is a world of difference in price. Most of the time, you'll pay around $2 for hundreds of seeds from any flower or vegetable you like. Number 92, one light per room. You don't need more than one light per room. If you find it a bit dark, you can try to get daylight bulbs that feel brighter because of their hue or go old school and use candles. Number 93, keep your tires inflated. Having your tires below the recommended inflation level can cause you to spend quite a bit more on gas. In fact, just by keeping at the proper inflation level, you can save 3.3% every time you fill up with gas. Number 94, fill up your freezer. We have a chest freezer, which goes a long way for us to save money by buying meats and other foods in bulk. For example, we bought two turkeys after New Year, which were on sale, and stored them in our freezer for future meals. Number 95, increase your fiber consumption. Increasing your fiber consumption can help you feel fuller and in turn eat less. Less food consumed means less money spent and also it'll help you be much healthier. Number 96, use the oven in the winter. One of the benefits of cooking in the winter through an oven is that you heat your house while you make a meal. It won't save you a ton of money, but it's an effective frugal tip to make the most of what you have. Number 97, don't use the oven in the summer. Just the opposite applies in the summer. If you can, only use the barbecue to cook your meals so you don't have to heat up your house and make your air conditioner run more than it should. Number 98, weather strip. It's normal to have parts of your home not as well insulated as others, and one example of this is doors and windows. By using a weather strip, you can seal those parts that are leaking warm or cold air and ultimately save you money on your heating and cooling bills. Number 99, use a space heater. If you spend most of your time in one room, then it's a waste of money to heat up your whole house. Instead, get a space heater to heat up the room you're in. There are space heaters that go for as little as $30 on Amazon. Before I share this last tip, let us know if we missed any of your favorite tips in the comments below. Number 100, work from home. If this is an option, you should definitely consider it. Working from home will prevent you from using any gas or eating any food out since you can make food at home and can help you avoid any potential accidents that may cause you to dip into an emergency fund.